Morning peeps, it's been a while since I've vlogged, so this is gonna be me getting the rustiness out of me for sure. Today I think I'm snaking a drain, but we also have to go back to the coffee shop. There's a whole other section that I have to do, but we're winding down for the holiday season, so it's sort of calming down. I'm gonna see how much footage I could get on this. By the way, I just wanna congratulate everybody on the t-shirt giveaway contest. All of you that participated, I wanna give you a very big thank you. I sent the shirts out already. I'm still currently waiting for one more uh, shirt. Plum Life, you gotta get me an address I gotta send the shirt to. But aside from that, we're good to go. Let's go to work. Peeps, this drain call is an absolute disaster. I'll tell you exactly what's happening. So, the footage that you saw was me getting into the job site and going through the vanity. The problem that the person's dealing with is that his toilet backs up into his bathtub. This happens a lot. But when he starts plunging his bathtub, it starts backing up into his neighbor's bathtub, which means that their communal pipe is actually clogged. I'm gonna show you an image inside the studio right now. Peeps, I'm here in the studio. I just wanted to show you guys on the whiteboard what exactly is taking place during this service call because it's a little bit complicated when you can't see the pipes. So essentially what's happening here is a pipe that's communal to both washrooms is being clogged. The vibe I get is it was probably on the horizontal section of the stack. And the reason why I say that is because I sent in three cables. Each cable is around 10 to 12 feet, so it's around 30 to 36 feet in length that I finally was able to unclog this pipe. So that's where the clog actually was. An interesting thing is, is when I went in with my handheld snake, I eventually came to a brick wall that I just wasn't able to get through. So I hit this wall all three times, once through the vanity, once through the bathtub, and once through the toilet. And that's when I realized I had to step up my game and go get the K50, which is a bigger drain machine with more torque and more power. So I was able to finally break through this thing because of that. So let's look at the whiteboard right here. So peeps, here's a basic picture of what we were looking at in the job that I was doing over there. So we have a situation here where we have units above on the second floor, and then on the first floor, you have a couple of restaurants. But here's what the basics are. You have a stack going through the floor and going across, which will eventually connect to the main drain and then connect through on out. Up above, we have two units, and each of the units is a bathroom group. And a bathroom group is a shower, a vanity, and a water closet. So what occurs here is that the person in one of the units realized that when they flush their toilet, water started backing up into their shower right over here. So what he did is he took a plunger and he started pushing the water, and then water ended up coming out into this other person's shower. So that's a real big indication as that the main or the stack that they're using is actually clogged because the water cannot escape. If your blockage is right here, what normally will happen is if water starts coming out of your shower, you're going to start plunging and hopefully break through inside here. But if it starts going on in here, that means there is water all throughout this entire pipe and this entire system. And that's a big indication that something is obstructing this stack right here after uh, the other person's washroom. So now I go through the toilet flange and I can't get through either. It gets to a brick wall that I can't surpass. So there's something in there 
clogging the hell out of this goddamn pipe. So my job right now is, is I'm gonna go out to get that. That's gonna provide me with a bigger snake, essentially. And with this bigger snake, I should be able to uh, get through this, this pipe. And if it doesn't, then we gotta go to phase three, and phase three is the Armageddon! So that is currently what I'm dealing with. Just a regular Tuesday afternoon, really. Remember when I made it seem that uh, I was done? Well, I'm not done. And in fact, uh, it's getting real. Today's a disaster, bro. Today's a typical disaster service day. So, that entire thing went down. The toilet is finally unclogged. Now I'm going to go uh, turn on the valves. And one of the valves in the other unit that you guys never saw is leaking. It leaks even when you turn off the valve, which is a red flag right off the bat. My game plan is, is okay, if we can shut the water, which will shut everything, it'll shut the two units, it'll shut the two restaurants downstairs, like it's, it's a big deal, but if you shut this water, you need about 15 minutes to change this valve. Well, guess what? I shut the water, I go try to change the valve, and the water is continuously coming. And the biggest problem with that is, is that, okay, I know a way of getting the valve off initially, so I don't have to sweat it out. I could cut that pipe. But when I go back to solder that pipe, now it's going to be a problem because there's no way to stop that water from coming in. And if it's a continuous drip and a continuous stream of water, doesn't matter how much it is, I won't be able to solder that valve. So I need to go now get a specialized valve, which is going to probably be a shark bite connection in order to get this job to finish. But it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I was here since 11 trying to snake a drain and now trying to solder this valve. That, my friends is a typical day of when stuff goes bad, it goes bad like this. Let's go. For those of you that are already in the plumbing trade, you probably already know this, but these are called shark bite connections, okay? It's got jaws on it. The jaws will go over the pipe, and then if they lock in correctly, it'll be extremely difficult to pull whatever the shark bite connection is. So now they have shark bite just caps where you can put them on pipes. You also have shark bite valves. These ones are valves. Let me show them to you. This is what this bad boy looks like, all right? Regular valve, just like so. And on the inside, you can see the teeth that it has. So it's gonna go over the pipe. And when you shove it in, you won't be able to pull it out easily. It'll be really, really difficult. And these essentially seal for water. So they're really, really handy in a really tight situation. These things basically save plumbing lives when uh, used in the appropriate surroundings. So the only downside to them is they're a little bit expensive. They're like 12 bucks a pop when you could buy a, a regular soldering valve for like, I don't know, one or two bucks or whatever, whatever they go for. So wish me luck, let's go. peeps just like that we are done the repair it didn't take that long once you have the right tools involved for the job basically and 
Today's been a gong show, man. It's been a gong show, but I'm not done. It's five o'clock right now. I've been here all day. I have to head out to the other job site, snake that um, drain. Well, actually, camera inspect that drain, locate that drain, and then we'll figure out if we can break that section and where to run our pipes. So let's get there. <laughs> 